Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. I'm your host Color Shade. It's episode 21 and we are here in the Roads End Catacombs. Sounds ominous. Actually, we're going to rest before we go down in there. And for spells, we don't need to have that because that's not going to do us any good. Um, what well, might do us some good here. I'm really not impressed with that flame. Fireball, how it's FP cost 11. What's this one cost? FP cost 18. I think I'd like to have the regular fireball. This is also very nice for a, a group of people. If I start to get more than one, I need to wipe them out. But if something down here doesn't like flame, we might have to come back. All right. Oh goodness. He's not going to die easy, is he? Hmm. That's kind of bad news. I don't like having to kill it. I don't like having to swing 3 times to kill something. That's not promising. Oh, but there is a... There is a switch here already. Wow. What do we got? Anybody down there? I hear guys running around. This is nice. A whole bunch of glove work. Oh yeah, here he comes. Start making heavy use of this, aren't we? We have to start making heavy use of our jump attack because these guys are tough. Okay. What do we have here? Hanging on the ceiling. Oh. Magic. Okay. On the ceiling? Anybody? I don't see him. Run out of the darkness here and kill me. Where are they? one of the pains in the butt is the game sticks a lot of things on the walls like that and then it doesn't let you move around to look at them very well. They want you to be afraid. What about here? Nobody there? It looked like they could be hidden amongst the uh, that rubbish there. Okay, so what is this fake wall? Hey, the first one in the game. Well, what if we did this? <laughs> you didn't like that very much, did you? You didn't. Don't blame you. I'm gonna get charged up here. Oh, there we go. Right there. Well, let's do this. There's probably one on the other side, too. Right there. Alright, little gargoyle. Village corpse, what do you give me? A glintstone firefly. What's this one gonna give me? A fort hatchet. Anybody else? Up on the walls. What's this? Rhea Lucaria soldier ashes. I don't suppose any of these walls are fake, are they? So we got a fake wall somewhere else then, because this can't be all there is to this tomb. Well, where do you think it is? These, if it's got something on the wall like that, I think it's probably not fake. So, and I don't see an upstairs area over there. Hmm. 
Pick one. Nope. Magic? Not fake. Mm, not fake. I hear pitter patter of little feet. Fake wall right here. No? Are you kidding me? I hear something there. Come on. Where is it? Because you can hear it right over here. The summoning pool is now functional. This wouldn't be a fake wall because it's got a thing on it. It's got like, you know, art. Is it one of these? It is. Oh, look at you. Small passageway. Okay, I'm guessing this is not fake because that leads that would lead directly into the other room. What do we have here? A very narrow place where we're gonna get killed. Ambushed something. Nope. Root resin. Fake wall. Gotta be. This whole dungeon is fake walls. It's making up for all the other times that I tried to think there was a fake wall and couldn't find one. More grave glove words. The kind that will let us upgrade Lutil the Headless. Where are they? Oh my gosh, you guys might be able to hear that. The microphone might be picking it up for a second there. I thought my cell phone had caught on fire. It's not. It's. It's Spring Hail. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's so loud. Okay. Oh, look, it's a boss fight. Well, in that case, oh, I used up FP. Okay. Little, my friend. You ready? Here. Get rid of these guys. Well, let's go, buddy. Let's see who it is. Oh, no, it's like a, it's a crucible night. Gosh, and he already rocked me. Dang it, he's so punishing. That shot is so quick. Oh my god. Kill this sucker. Spirit Caller Snail. What is this? You, you want to avoid that. Oh my gosh. So what else is left? Spirit Caller Snail. There he is. Kill it. Oh no! He can keep calling stuff? What? Oh my god, I've never I've never done this fight. Oh my god. His attacks are just insane. I hate that. So what I got like two seconds to attack the snail? Gosh. 
Okay. Now I know how to do this fight. I don't like it, but I know how to do it. Yeah, I can't get around him. I gotta have Lutal to, uh... Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. You see the glow. Dang it. I'm out of healing potions. Where are you going next? Turkey. Could be costly. He's gonna move after everyone, isn't he? Where is he next? Right down back in the same corner. Can you believe it? I can't. Glintstone Sorcerer Ash. I cannot believe that. How many hit points that time? <laughs> oh, 76. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Once I figured out how that fight worked. Jeez. That was... That's probably, that's definitely designed to make sure that you get crushed your first time. <laughs> You're not supposed to win that the first time. You're like, oh my gosh, the snail, where's the snail? I'm killing him and I'm looking at the name down below and I'm like, snail, snail, what snail? Spirit color, snail. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. We're going to, actually, no, we know. I want to start here again, Temple Court. Well, that was interesting. That was a that was a nice sidebar. Um, I like that. That again, just one of the things I love about this game. I mean, you start off with one idea of what you're gonna do, and then you are led into a cave, and next thing you know, you're on a completely different adventure. And that's why I think it. Uh, it compares so favorably to games like Skyrim because that's how Skyrim was for me and that's why I liked playing it so much. <coughs> I love how you'd be on a quest for something and then you'd see this little cave and you'd go into it and next thing you know you're um, Cuckoo's Evergale. Ooh. Ever jail. I, I, the G screws me up. But that's the way Skyrim was. It's like you're you're going along to one quest and along the way you'd run into all kinds of stuff. And you'd be like, oh, what's in this cave? And what's in this fort? And blah, 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 blah. And the next thing you know, you're on all kinds of adventures. And it's great. I am... Oh. Do we want to try this? Hmm. I'm feeling brave, which tells me I'm feeling dumb. Let's try it. This is a like a cuckoo's ever jail. Is this a is this a knight? What is this? Oh, it's you. Oh, you still hit me with that? How? How did you still hit me? No. Oh. Smack me with your breath there, buddy. Oh my gosh. It's diff- Oh boy, that was just about the death of me right there.
I know you want to stomp on me, but I got some armor now, buddy. Oh. I got some armor, buddy. Stab! <laughs> well, in the immortal words of Han Solo, don't get khaki. <laughs> oh, man, that was... That was rough. Holy cow. Okay, fortunately, the thing I love about the Everjails is you just... Here's your... Here's your runes so you don't lose them. It's one of the nice parts of the game where you don't have to lose your runes. The game is so unforgiving with that kind of stuff, so... In this case... Okay. Getting as many good wax as you can here before he does something like that. Alright. Yeah, I know. But guess what? I do have this. And I'm not afraid to use it. Still one up there. Look at you though. I got some black flame stuff for you. Yeah, try to throw that at me. Oh, get away from that. Dang it. I thought it was going to be smarter to go into that move, but... He's a little harder giant than the regular giants, but he's not bad. Bowls the carry net. Great blade. Phalanx is nice. Okay. Well, he's done. That's how the first attempt should have went. Once I realized it was the spectral giant. It's not like I don't know how to kill those guys. So further up here, what do we have? Oh, that's, we're going the wrong direction. Okay, so over here, what can we see? Nothing yet. I'm looking for the marker that's gonna tell us where the map is. It's gonna be up here somewhere. Oh, one of those vampires is singing. Well. Oh. I don't think we should leave these guys. Oh my goodness, they're making all kinds of noise. You're ticking me off. There you go, clackers. Let's go see if we can kill the rest of your brothers and sisters here. Maybe we can just get the head guy. No, because there's going to be a couple more flapping around. I was wondering when you were going to show up there, bud. Bye. Who else is here? You're a regular one.
I woke him from his slumber. There we go. How's that feel? Alright. Got a big old fat rune from him. Well. Now let's go up this way. What does that look like? It looks like a lobster convention down there. Man, I wish I had a spell that would let me just go down there and nuke them all in one fell swift move. But such is not the case. This is... I think I know where I'm at. Oh, look. There's a side of grace right here. We can rest there. We're still a few runes short of a level. We got some angry red folk up here. Crowded around a shiny. I really don't want to cause you guys any grief, but you're angry. Jellyfish. All I really want is this thing. The jellyfish shield. Ooh, very poisonous. Very poisonous. There's a fort up there, but I think where I really want to go is here, maybe. Maybe not, maybe I gotta go through the fort to get there, okay. Or at least you gotta go, yeah, you have to go through the fort to get there, don't you? Okay. Oh boy. can worry about that fort in a little bit. Right now, the most important thing is to just go past it, and to also go past these bozos. <coughs> right between your legs. I felt a breeze, he says. Yeah. Big giant troll casting sorcerer. There's another one by. I'd like to have a sword, though. This is the four belfries. These are basically three teleporters and a chest. But there is a site of grace nearby. Nearby one of them. Maybe the topmost one? Nope. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Boing. Very cool. So up here is a Chesterino. Can't Imbued sword key. Okay. And I think those imbued sword keys are what you need to unlock each of these teleporters. Problem is I can't remember where they each go. So I'm not going to worry about that part for right now. But here's the road and there's the map fragment. All right. We're going to go back down here. These guys are still looking for us. We saw someone come up here. You can be as mad as you want, big stuff. I'm just going to run right on by. Now, if you want to follow me all the way down to this camp, that'd be cool. But I don't think he's going to. I don't think he would. 
think he'll probably get somewhere right in here and quit. Though he's... Yeah... He's gonna quit. Okay. We're gonna try to do this camp. We can summon here, so that'll be helpful. Did we go around it? No, we didn't, because there's a side of grace. Oh, I see. We missed the turn off before. Okay. So there's multiple ways up there. Multiple roads. I think the only thing that's in here is a chest, but I also think it'll give us a pathway beyond... Okay. Oh, I got another guy here. Wants to play hero. And another guy. Oh, dude. That was a really nice move by you to, to cast that, but... <laughs> it did miss. Okay, now, in order to use that, I'm gonna have to do this. I do need to poke a few more points into my FP, don't I? No. Do this. Stupid dog. Dang it. Get that thing out of here. Mm, they're just so hard on my health bar. Okay, where is this guy casting from? It's, oh, right there, up at the top of the hill. Let's go up there. Gosh darn it. Let's go take these guys out first. Dog. Big shaggy dog. Definitely gonna put him to rest. Okay. hit that helmet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Now I gotta do this with my buddy. Oh. Oh, that was devastating. I didn't like that at all. I did not like that at all. How do I how do I find these guys? Oh, I don't like that at all. That glint blade stuff is wicked. And I gotta deal with one of these guys? He's dead. I know, that's nasty. Oh, I got a little video glitching going on there. Okay. Oof. That was hard. <laughs> that was not easy. And I'm out of flasks, so baby. I gotta find whoever was casting all them spells and put an end to them. Oh, there's chess galore, though. Albunuric blood clot? Hmm. And there were six of them? Wow. Smithing stone fours. That's nice. Where's Joe, who was casting all the spells? Where's that guy? Okay. I don't know. I'm going to try to figure out the rest of this. I'm going to heal myself up and grab myself my little... Sorry, Charlie, but I came here to clear this place out and... Oh, I'm experiencing some lag. 
in the frame rates. I think it might be because I've been running this for quite a while. Nice glintstone stuff. Although I'm not 100% sure, so I'll take a look here in a minute. Let's finish up this place. Very nice. A rune arc. Coming later. Useful later. Nothing in that tent. Oh, and there's that guy. Where was he? I don't see him. There he is. Dang it. <laughs> okay, replenishment. That helps. Thank you. <laughs> he was the last guy. <laughs> Oh man, nice. Well, now somewhere down here should be uh, oh my goodness, look at this. So they're towing this. Very nice. Where's our Sight of Grace? It's down here somewhere. down here somewhere. I just don't know exactly where it is. But we're going to get the map. So that'll be good. Get the map and then we can go back and start working on There it is. Side of Grace. Map. Let's get the map first. And then we can go back and work on the rest of the peripheral stuff to learn you of the lake. Uh, I would like to know what kind of weapon that thing's carrying. So let's rest here for a second.